Sobriety instead of sentences. It's what Sauk County is striving for in its new drug court program. Following in the footsteps of counties like Dane and Rock, it is redefining what court can be for recovering addicts. And only our Danica Lewis takes us inside the courtroom where they're already making an impact. Danica? Well, Eric and Susan, it only began eight weeks ago or so, and already five people are enrolled, with about 10 others being processed or referred for Sauk's drug court. And it not only shows that there is a need here, but also that participants have something else to live for and they're willing to put in the work. It was hard to even come in this building knowing, you know, what I've been through here before. Eddie Hatfield's experience sitting in front of a judge has always ended with a sentence. Usually I come here to go to jail. He was behind bars last year, then clean for eight months. I overdosed and died. And that was January 8th. Which brought Hatfield back to court, but this time... Their goal is not to lock you up and throw away the key. They've never been in a courtroom in a, in a setting that wasn't adversarial and wasn't, quite frankly, uh, intended to get them. We want to continue to do all that we can. Judge Michael Screnock has learned restoring trust isn't easy. It really is hard, I think, for someone in that position to believe that we mean what we say, which is we really are here to help you. So the seat usually filled by a prosecutor is empty. You will have a lot of support. Instead of a jury, a drug court team of police, probation officers, and treatment providers sit in support. Were you able to set up uh, some treatment? Each week. When was your last sober day, sir? Participants report back on progress. This is a bit of a new experience for you. Okay, so you got that set up. How did you think this last week went? But that's good. Anything else that you want us to know? I really view this role as a, an incredible opportunity, but also an awesome responsibility. You shouldn't rely on us to solve the problem. And you. one by one. We're glad that she's here. We're glad that you are here. They find the strength to stay yeah. sober. I that's never want to too. put her in any kind of situation like I grew up in. Emma was born just weeks after dad's heroin overdose. She's my motivation. So new sentences of support start to stick and success in sobriety is possible. I definitely want the best for her and I'm gonna strive for it. And I, I will succeed. That family's so precious there. Participants stay in drug court for a year and a half to two years. Sauk County did invest $142,000 into this program, but national studies show between incarceration, health care, and helping victims, about $27 is saved for every dollar invested in these kinds of courts. By that math, that's more than $3 million bucks saved in Sauk County alone. Well, it could make a huge difference. Oh, Danica, yeah. thank you very much. Sure. Thanks, Danica.